The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 5, verses 27 to 32. Jesus said to his disciples, You have learned how it was said, You must not commit adultery. But I said this to you, If a man looks at a woman lustfully, he has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye should cause you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. For it will do you less harm to lose one part of you than to have your whole body thrown into hell. And if your right hand should cause you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. For it will do you less harm to lose one part of you than to have your whole body go to hell. It has also been said, anyone who divorces his wife must give her a writ of dismissal. But I say this to you, everyone who divorces his wife except for the cause of fornication makes her an adulteress. And anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, Jesus intensifies the sixth commandment by raising a bar of sexual values. He moves beyond the physical act to the attitude of the heart. Just as we can murder with our words, we can also commit adultery with our heart. When we look at another person with the covetous desire to possess and manipulate we commit adultery with that person in our heart. Here, from the point of view of the mystery of personhood, we reduce the other to a consumer item and covet him or her as a thing, rather than accept him or her as a person. No person, per se, is meant to be an object of lust ever. Every person is God's gift to be valued. Any action from our side that devalues person's dignity accounts to sin. Amen.